Hey there, Joystick News fans, buckle up because today we're diving deep into the latest Battlefield update from the intense universe of Helldivers 2 where things have just gone from bad to we're going to need a bigger Hellbomb levels of crisis. I'm here to break down the massive upgrades the automatons have received, making them a more formidable force than ever. So let's get right into the thick of it. The new automaton threat. First off, the Automatons, Helldivers 2's relentless mechanical enemies have just rolled out their latest horror on the battlefield, the Factory Strider units. Imagine combining the imposing presence of a Star Wars at at with the muscle of a heavyweight boxer, then arm it to the teeth and give it armor thick enough to make a moon nervous. Yeah, that's what we're dealing with now. These behemoths aren't just bristling with firepower. They're walking factories capable of churning out automaton devastators as if they were off a conveyor belt. And the worst part, they seem to have no obvious Achilles heel for us to exploit. Airborne annoyances, the gunships. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, enter the new gunships. These flying fortresses are essentially heavily armed delivery systems for devastators dropping these tank-like units onto the field while bombarding you with a mix of missiles and laser fire. The skies have become a no-fly zone for democracy, with these gunships capable of being produced en masse by automaton factories and known to swarm players in numbers. Your best bet against these aerial threats, the Quasar Cannon. But here's the catch, its long cooldown means you'll need a well-coordinated team all packing this new tech to stand any chance against them. The shadow of war grows cloaked capital ships. Arrowhead, the sadistic geniuses behind Helldivers 2, dropped hints of an automaton resurgence with sightings of cloaked capital ships orbiting the planets under mechanical tyranny. And with this week's patch, it's confirmed those flagships have begun deploying their terrifying cargo. The battle at Malevolent Creek already felt like our own space-age Vietnam, and without a moment's respite, these new technological nightmares have been unleashed upon us. A silver lining. It's not all doom and gloom, though. The latest patch has brought some much-needed reinforcements for the good guys. Weapon buffs, tougher armor, and less frustrating civilian rescue missions are all part of the package. Plus, the arsenal available through the Cutting Edge Warbond Battle Pass has been expanded, giving us more tools in our fight for democracy. What this means for Helldivers. So, what does all this mean for you, the brave Helldiver? It means the fight just got tougher, but also more exciting. The introduction of these new automaton units and the adjustments to gameplay mechanics call for a fresh strategy. It's going to be about adapting, coordinating, and making full use of the new weapons and armor at our disposal. Joystick News Strategy Corner Here are a few quick tips to help you tackle these new challenges. Team coordination, more than ever, teamwork is crucial. Coordinate your loadouts to ensure you have a good mix of offense, defense, and support. Quasar Cannon Tactics. With its effectiveness against gunships, consider rotating its use among team members to cover the cooldown period. Hit and run. Against the factory striders, guerrilla tactics may be your best bet. Strike hard and fast, then move before they can bring their full firepower to bear. Utilize new weapons, dive into the cutting edge Warbond Battle Pass. The new weapons it offers could be game changers in your strategy against the upgraded automatons. In conclusion, Helldivers 2's battlefield just got a whole lot more intense with the automaton upgrades, but with the new weapons and armor buffs, plus a bit of strategy and a lot of teamwork, we've still got a fighting chance. So gear up, dive in, and let's show these automatons that democracy won't go down without a fight. That's it for today's episode. If you face these new threats head on, drop your experiences and strategies in the comments below. We're all in this fight together and sharing knowledge is how we'll win. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for more gaming news and insights from Joystick News. Until next time, keep those hellbombs handy.